you know, COVID has uh, really wreaked havoc on us, and, uh, but it's a period of readjustment for us. So we're looking to do something different. And I think the timing was probably good for Peter's players, for Michelle and I. Uh, I think it was time for us to uh, kind of look at this in a little bit different way. We love the venue here. It's been fantastic. But we, uh, there was a little bit of creativity that was missing, especially for me. Uh, and uh, so it would be nice to get back in the saddle again and look at a lot of newer talent, uh, Canadian talent, which is a big focus right now uh, in order to get things up and running for our industry. So we are, uh, obviously we've sold our place here. It closes at the end of August. And, and uh, so we're hoping to get a few more shows in before. And if not, that's the way it is. And uh, we will be looking to do some outside concerts. Right now we're looking in Bracebridge at Annie Williams Park to do a couple of concerts there at the end of August. And uh, we will be looking for other venues as well, as well as maintaining our existing ones, which is the at Muskoka Boat and Heritage uh, on the Winona 2. We were up to five cruises a year, and we would like to get back to that. And plus, uh, Michelle and I have been doing Jamaica uh, we've done two Jamaica trips uh, with music uh, where we fly the artists in from uh, Canada and the U.S. and uh, we sell to both countries. And we'd like to get back in the saddle with that one as well. The inn, of course, is in the space of where Peter and I lived, which is in the front part of the 100-year-old house. Uh, so it sounds like the uh, new owners uh, want to operate that as the inn uh, for now. And as far as the rear part of the building um, they've got a few different ideas in the works uh, I know the new owner had a recording studio um, back in his home country he also had a bar in Toronto that had Celtic music for a few nights a week so I think there was an option of that but he's also a developer so there could be talks of maybe developing this if possible into um, residential housing that might be accessible for people so I guess it just depends on what direction he goes but our goal is to still keep wherever we go the flavor of Peter's players comes with us which is exactly what we created when we were you know we started doing our Jamaica event so what we will do though uh, I will create another studio at home so it's almost like going full circle for us where I go back to the house again and and I, I, might, I will probably do some recording there uh, with video and audio for some bands you know but that's not the mainstay we will be looking to do stuff maybe I will look at some of the opera houses any other cultural uh, assets around that we could complement would interest us so we're, we haven't even began to look so as soon as we open we will announce shows and, and open meaning the province.